we mentioned this definition of common knowledge in passing and I kind of uh, defined it uh, this notion of common knowledge in uh, in a kind of informal way because I use words like event, I use words like no, uh, uh, you know what does it mean for what I said that okay player I knows that player J knows that something and so on. All of this was being was done in a kind of uh, you know heuristic way. Okay, so now what we will do is we will make this formal okay, and we will we will talk about what we will make in a very formal way what actually do we mean when we say that a player knows something ok alright. So, the typical sort of situation that we want to talk about is uh, is that there are many different possibilities in which the actual world ex can exist, but different players have different pieces of knowledge about it ok. And now from that knowledge they want to talk about not just about what the world actually uh, what the state of the world actually is, but also what knowledge the others have about it ok. So, we need that is what this framework is going to help you do. So, this framework will help you answer questions like what does player A know about what player B knows and then there and then recurs on that like what does player A knows about what B knows about what C knows and so on ok. So, I will give you a, 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 kind, a, a simple kind of example. Suppose there are there are these two players John and Paul these are these two players and John is color blind ok and I will define what color blind is. So, John is color blind and everybody knows that John is color blind ok. About Paul, we do not know actually if he is color blind or not. So, there are two different possibilities he may be color blind or he may not be color blind, but when he is color blind, he knows that he is color blind, ok. For Paul, there are two possibilities color blind or not color blind, but when he is color blind, he does know that he is color blind. And when he is not, also he knows that he is not, ok. So, but only Paul knows that he is color blind or not. Now, why are we talking about color blindness? The reason is because these two players are uh, looking at a say a car race ok. There are cars of three different colors, cars of three different colors purple, red and green. There are these three different colors, color, color cars suppose they are racing ok and they are all they are both watching that finish line and they can see some car pass. Now, based on their own impairments, they will be able to say whether or not a particular car has won ok. A color blind person, color blind basically means that he cannot, he cannot distinguish between red and green. So, a color blind player cannot tell the difference between red and green ok. So, which he cannot distinguish between red and green which means that if a, a purple car does win ok, then that fellow will be actually able to tell that it is the purple car that has won, but if it is red or 
uh, if it is either red or green that has one, you will not be able to tell which of them has one. Okay. Now, let us say for instance, you know this is some kind of uh, you know based on this they are going to decide which car to buy or which car to bet on or something like that. Okay. So, this is part of this is eventually linked to some decision making at the end, but we are not even talking about that decision making here we are just discussing who knows what. Okay. So, try to answer a question like this. So, suppose it is that a red the red car has won, then who knows what about this. So, so if the red, so uh, John is color blind. Okay, John cannot tell. Can, he just knows that purple has not won. Okay, now Paul for Paul there are two cases. So just like I told you that the red car has won, I have to also tell you what is Paul's state, whether he is color blind or not color blind. So now suppose Paul is not color blind. Let's take it for simplicity. Paul is not color blind. Okay, then what does Paul know? Red car has won. Okay, what else does he know? Ah, now that he knows that the red car has won, and he knows also that John is color blind. He also therefore knows that John does not know which car has won. Okay, but he he does know that John knows that the purple car has not won. Is this clear? Right? Okay. Anything else? What does what does John know? No, not necessarily. See, John does okay. Let me ask you a pointed question. Does John know that Paul knows the color of the car? He just knows that Paul knows that it is not purple. But he does not know that Paul actually knows the color of the car. Why? Because Paul's color blindness is known only to him, okay, but not to John. John's color blindness is publicly known, it is common knowledge, right? Okay. So, just now I just talked about, we just asked, okay, what, first we asked, what do each of them know about which car won? Then we asked, okay, what does each person know about what the other person knows about the car that has won? Now I can ask one more level. So, what does John know about about Paul's knowledge of what John already what John already knows? John knows that yes. So right. So John knows. So if it's the red car that has won, John knows that Paul knows that yeah. No, but Paul, see Paul knows what is Paul knows that uh, the that John doesn't know the color. Paul is not color blind. So, Paul knows that John, uh, uh, Paul knows that John does not know the color. Okay. Does John know that Paul knows uh, that John does not know the color? Why? Yeah, John is color blind that everyone knows. But, but let us okay, that he that he knows that it is uh, okay. Yeah, so this is this is yeah this is trivially true because John John is color blind and everybody knows. What about the reverse? Yes, yes. So I have to. That's why I I cannot. Uh, it would be recursive if I said that it is com common knowledge and then try to define common knowledge, right? So that's why I'm motivating this uh, uh, sort of uh, let's say uh, heuristically. Okay, but anyway, the point is let uh, before we get into more of these loops, the point is that we this is we need a framework for doing for this kind of hierarchical, uh, um, you know, knowledge structures that we ask what does each player know of something, and that something itself could be what another player knows. Is this clear? Okay, so the, the very beautiful and elegant framework for doing this. 
and that uh, framework is is uh, is what is called is due to Oman Oman's model of incomplete information. So that the, so the model actually comprises of the following. Okay. So first, what we have is a let's say let's call this set S or maybe yeah let's say call it S. This is the um, this is a set of states of nature, states of nature or states of the world. So, the world is in one of these states, uh, you have n players here. Now, the we we are going to assume that players get knowledge about the state of the world through some kind of observation. Okay, so this is the kind of framework that we use in, uh, in in control theory, physics, information theory, and so on, where the uh, the or you you the, your knowledge that you have is through an observation. Now, what does this mean? It, you this observation basically tells you up to a certain level of granularity what actually is the state of the world. If you have perfect observation, it will actually tell you the exact state of the world. But otherwise, it will tell you up to a certain level of precision what the state of the world is. Okay. Now, the way to model this is to say, well, that for every player i, you have this calligraphic fi. This here is a partition. Is a partition of the set S. So the S I used for strategies. No? So let me just change this to something else. I'll just call this y. So, f f i is a partition of y okay, for each player i. Now, I will tell you what this partition means. Okay. Now, what is what this says is this, suppose this is your set y, this is all possible states of the world. Okay. Now, what player i a partition basically means a division of y into subsets such that each of these subsets they are all they are mutually disjoint and their union is y okay so you divide y into these uh, into disjoint subsets whose union is the full set y now when an actual state of the world let's say omega here gets realized what a player the, this particular partition is for player i here okay this is player i's partition now what player i knows is is that the state of the world is one out of this element of his partition it is one of it's in this yellow region but he doesn't know which exact point in that yellow region it is okay that's what his so the partition basically captures this ignorance it tells you that it tells you that the, what is the the uh, the granularity to which a player can player knows about the state of the world now so if omega is the true state of the world which is this point player i only knows this now there could be another player j who has a different partition okay? every player has a partition and these partitions could in general be different right because they are way of measuring the world and they or whatever measurement apparatus they have the measurement information channel they have whatever it is or that 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 is different and so therefore they get a different partition what does this mean that means they their the their uh, amount of their knowledge could be about about the state of the world could be different for example for another player this could be a partition So, I have now again chopped up y into a different uh, set of subsets whose which are mutually disjoint and whose union is y. 
okay the blue one is for another for another player player j so this here is for for player j now when this gets realized when when now when the uh, the uh, the the when omega gets realized what does player j know player j only knows that it is one out of this green shaded region but not which one out of that is it clear so this is our way of expressing the knowledge of the player now why does this why is this, why does this make sense and where does this partition come from see this partition is basically so this is as i said it's like a control theory or physics or information theory type model because we are our way of thinking about what does a player know is basically that player knows about the world when he measures it now for example if you want me to if i if i want to know if uh, if i have fever i have a measuring device such as a thermometer i i check my temperature okay the temperature is a particular output of my this thing what i can conclude is i am in one of the states that leads to that temperature right it could be that i have fever it could also be that i have maybe some uh, something else or it could be that i have just run uh, a lot therefore my temperature is high right now could be whatever right so the actual state that i am in is in one of these wise my measurement device only tells me the inverse image of my this thing it just tells me so if i have a measurement device like a thermometer say thermometer basically will map all my all my body states why to a temperature let's say some zero to whatever zero to uh, infinity level. right so and when i get a reading t as my temperature what i know is that my body state is actually just one of these h inverse of t's right so if i get a reading as if my if i get my reading is 100 i know that it's it's one of these h inverse of 100 if i get my reading as 99 i know it's h inverse of 99 etc etc if I, now you can see that as i vary t each of these sets is going to be disjoint because they can, could not have possibly given me the same temperature right these are disjoint sets as i vary t actually what i end up generating is a partition of my space y because i keep for every t i get a different h inverse of t this generates a partition of my state y it basically and and it it is it uh, it it partitions my whole space into subsets of that capture my level of ignorance so all states so in particular let's say this one here if i take this one here this corresponds to all those y's this corresponds to all y's uh, sorry all omegas such that h of omega is equal to say 100 these are all those omegas for which h of omega is equal to 99 and so on right but if i go to another another person who uh, maybe the uh, someone who has a different measurement device maybe a more accurate thermometer or or some he does some uh, another test all together he can get a bit different reading and a different uh, different partition okay a different reading means not just a different numerical value but also a more accurate potentially reading or a, or a, or a reading that gives him more visibility into some states that just my temperature based measurements was not giving him correct so this is essentially our way of modeling uh, mo modeling knowledge uh, knowledge in a, in a game okay this is exactly how we model knowledge in, uh, or information even in a in in a, in a control setting because there also you get what you get is you have a certain state underlying state let's say x and what you measure is is some function of that state okay this is a usual uh, measurement equation where you get What the output that you get is is equal to some c uh, some function of that state. So what you can tell is that this when you get a particular measurement, a, a particular output, all you know is that the state is such that it would have led to that measurement, but you don't know which exact state. 
right. So, it basically partitions the state space based on the values of the measurement ok all right. So, this is this is so this basically is our model for this is our underlying model. Now, from here how do we uh, 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 how do we conclude what each player knows uh, let we can talk about that, but before that let us actually do let us try and uh, do an example the previous John and Paul example let us try to model it in this way ok. So, so, so now in that case you remember there are three different cars purple, red and green that could have one and three cars purple, red and, and green and there were uh, there are two possibilities as far as Paul's color blindness is concerned right. So, there are that means Paul is color blind or not color blind this is for Paul. Okay. So, now in the in this case therefore, the state of the world is in 6 possible states. The 6 possible combinations are this. So, y then comprises of these state these 6 possible combinations you have that Paul is color blind and the purple car has 1, Paul is color blind and the red car has 1, Paul is color blind the green car has 1, Paul is not color blind, purple car has 1, Paul is not color blind, red car has 1, Paul is not color blind, and the green car has 1. These are the possible states of the world, ok. One of them is the going to be the true state in which we will be analyzing the game, but these are the possible states, right. Now, if these are the possible states, then what what does each player know? Let's try to uh, let's try to understand that. So, let's look at John's partition. Okay. Now, wh what is uh, John does not know? Okay, if Paul is color blind or not, and also John can John himself being color blind can only distinguish between whether the purple car has one or not one. Okay. Now, what we will do is we what this means is that if you look at this this partition that you have for that I have drawn here, it should have a st it should the structure of this partitioning should be such that all those states that John cannot distinguish between should be in one subset, right? The states that he can uh, uh, that he uh, definitely has a way of distinguishing will have to be in a different subset. Okay. So, which now out of these states which ones can John not distinguish between? So, let us we have to be so one of course at one level he can say that John uh, Paul is color blind or not uh, he, uh, sorry he cannot he does not know if Paul is color blind or not right. So, then therefore, you can say well all color blind non color blind can be put in one set, but then that is not fine enough right because he knows a little bit more than that. So, you have to go to the exact definition of the state. See the state here says a combination of Paul's color blindness, yes, no and the car. So, what combinations now can he distinguish between and what combinations can he not? So, so let us let, let's go uh, let us let us suppose when the purple car has won, he can tell that the purple car has won right but he cannot tell if Paul is color blind or not. Now, what does that mean? That means, he cannot distinguish between this state which is color blind comma purple and not color blind comma purple right. So, these two have to be in the in the same subset. So, so this must have so, there is a subset here which I can form by using these two states color blind comma purple and not color blind comma comma purple ok all right. What else? Ah, now, all the remaining ones what do the all the remaining ones capture? It is either red or green that has one and Paul is either color blind or not color blind. He has no way of telling you know any of them apart. 
right? When green wins and Paul is colorblind versus when red wins and Paul is not colorblind, all of them are for him they are alike. Okay, so all of these are in in one one this thing, which is so colorblind comma red, colorblind comma green. Not color blind, comma red. Not color blind, comma green. So you can see this is now his partition. What 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 do I mean by the partition here? The entire space Y has been divided into two sets. This is one set. This is another set. They, okay, they are disjoint and their union is Y. So what and and when one of these occurs, Paul can, John can only say about which of which partition has actually occurred, but not the exact state in that partition. So for example, if this if this state comes up, he only knows that one from this box has come up, but not which exact one. Okay, okay. What is the corresponding one for Paul? So, Paul can tell whether he is color blind or not. Okay. What does this mean? See, if, yeah. So, so it, if, since Paul knows he is color blind or not, then you cannot have the following situation where you have a particular car has one, the same car color, but color blind and not color blind come and put in the same set. Right? You cannot have a combination like this, for example, you cannot have a combination where color blind comma purple and color blind comma not purple in the same set. Because Paul knows whether he is color blind or not. He should have been able to distinguish between these two sets. Okay? But of course, when he is not color blind, he may not be able to distinguish between the colors of the car, which is a different matter. That's not what we are talking about. Right? So, you cannot have, for example, colorblind and red and not colorblind and red in the same set. Okay? So, what exactly is his partition? Let's, let's write that out. So, let's, let's, let's go, uh, let's go one by one. So, colorblind and purple, when he, when he is colorblind and the purple car has one, can he tell exactly that? Okay? So, he knows. So, this set is a singleton set by itself. So, when this happens, he knows exactly that that has happened. Okay. What about color blind comma red? So, he cannot distinguish between color blind comma red and, and color blind comma green. So, when he is color blind, he will not be able to distinguish between these two. Okay. So, these and color blind comma green are in one set. When he is not color blind, he can distinguish all of them, uh, all the all the car colors. So all of these are then in separate sets. Right. So, this is now Paul's partition. Okay. So, when, when any of these occur, he of course knows what the state of the car is. Likewise, this one also. When this one occurs, he only knows that one of these has occurred. Okay. All right. Okay. So, I will just set up some more notation then, now that we, uh, now that we know this. So, the way we will analyze further is that what we will, we will pick a particular state of the world, okay, and that state of the world is known to us as observers, okay, but the players may not know, okay. So, this is what, we, so a situation, a situation, so what I wrote out above is the model, but a situation of incomplete information. comprises of a particular state omega star in y 
okay now when omega star occurs what do players know so the let let us define this so this simple f of omega this is the element of of this fancy fi that contains omega so this uh, this simple fi is the element of this fancy fi that contains omega okay from that so is the element of the partition that contains the actual uh, the particular state okay so when so in a situation where omega star is the actual state of the world fi of omega star is what players know that is their level of knowledge okay okay now players will be talking about we or rather we will be talking about knowledge of players of of events okay now what is an event an event is is simply a subset of y okay so you take any subset of y that's that's what we call an event okay and now we can discuss of what to players know about this event and so on okay so for example let's take this this sub this subset the subset is that um let's say color blind comma green not color blind comma green okay so can you tell me what is this what is this event example in words can you tell me what is what is this event referring to see an event is a uh, is just a collection of states of the world and the event is when you say when you have this collection it's an or between those those uh, those states so okay it's either this or this or this that is what we are calling as the event so so this here so for example this event a here is the event that either paul is color blind and the green car won or paul is not color blind and the green car won or paul is color blind and the purple car won okay so in short i mean i can summarize this is it's the event that either the green car has won or paul is color blind and the purple car won okay that is that's this event so okay so this is either green car one or paul is color blind and the purple car one so I have to be careful and uh, Right. I am putting this in brackets because I want to make sure the and is between those two last two uh, last two things. Okay. All right. So we now this is an event, and we 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 are talking of an event in a when when in a context of a certain situation. Right. That is a situation means a particular state of the world has been chosen. And now in that context, we want to talk of a particular event. Now it's possible that this event itself is not occurred. in the particular state of the world right for example if the if the if the um uh if the situation that we are talking about is that paul is color blind and the red car has won if that is omega star so omega star is so if omega star is is this uh, sorry color blind and the red car has won then this event has not even occurred right because none of the possible thing states of the world that that event uh, refers to is is uh, is is equal to omega star 
ok. So, the true state of the world is is omega star, but the event that you are referring to is not has not occurred in this state of the world ok. So, so that is why we need a, another terminology we say that an event that an event occurred actually occurred is a bad word uh, in English uh, because it seems like it is it uh, you know um, it is also known that it has occurred. So, that is why the word used is event we say use the word obtains we say that an event event A obtains in omega star if omega star belongs to A. Okay. So, you have a state of the world and we say that an event A obtains in this state of the world if that state of the world is present in uh, is is a is a, is an element of that event ok ok. So, obviously it makes sense to when you are in a particular situation that means you are discussing a particular uh, 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 state of the world as the true state of the world it makes sense to discuss about events that have actually occurred in that right. So, the others that are not occurred or that have not obtained are kind of are you know kind of hypothetical right in some sense that they are they are they could have occurred, but uh, but they are not what is being considered in this situation ok. So, I will end with one last definition. So, we say that layer i knows event a in state of the world omega star if f i of omega star is a subset of it. So, we say that player i knows that that event ok or whatever knows that event has occurred or knows that whatever that event represents in the state of the world in the situation omega star if f i of omega star is a subset of a. Now, what does this mean? It means that go back to what f i of omega was it was the element of his partition that contains omega star right it is the element of his partition that contains omega star. Now, if that element so that so all his ignorance about omega star is captured in f i of omega star. So, he knows this that the state of the world is one of f i of omega star, but not which one. Now, if that is a subset of a ok, then it essentially tells him it tells you that what it means is that he knows definitely that a has he definitely knows a ok, because he knows from from his information he knows that he can conclude that one of a has occurred for sure because he knows that one of f i of omega has occurred and f i of omega f i of omega star has occurred and f i of omega star is a subset of a this clear so that's our model for knowing a particular event all right